Hey guys, Eric McRae, Spargus Party here. You know, I was taking a few minutes to just think about what this environment on YouTube is actually like in terms of for any content creator who has a dream of um, making an income out of what they do, what they're making the platform feel like. And this mental picture uh, actually came up in my head. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with those like Japanese obstacle course game shows and uh, th there were a lot of like American spin-off of similar stuff that you know like your American Ninja Warrior etc. But that's basically what it's like. That's exactly what it's like except more difficult. Instead of like having to jump over I don't know some two meter uh, jump over a moat type of thing. It'll be like three times the distance and the obstacles are more intense and more painful um, but it would be a perfect picture so you get your guy on there and he starts out and this is that initial monetization process you know you know your 1000 subscribers your 4000 watch hours and that's hard enough but that's not difficult enough you have to achieve that while successfully evading all those traps and those, those landmines of trigger words of offending woke sensitivities And, you know, some might still be brave enough to endeavor because, you know, those grand hopes of earning some kind of an income and simultaneously getting your voice known and heard and getting that uh, funding to, you know, pay for a home and raise a family or something like that. So encouraged by that, they boldly move forward into the obstacle course. They start jumping on those noodles and, you know, taking the miserable ride of their life and... Um, very quickly in perhaps they get shadow banned for that one video that just happened to offend the sensitivities of one of your radical moderators and they try to repeal it try to talk to them can't get through to Google so now they're like okay what do I do because I'm kind of halfway there I have you know 500 subscribers and a thousand watch hours so they start going to Fiverr or something like that and buying subscribers from Fiverr and for many they just uh, give up right there because the money pools dwindled far too quickly and the debts have piled up but some were wise enough to amass a certain amount of savings before engaging in this so they keep buying subscribers buying subscribers buying special advertisement treatment and they finally managed to break through that wall and achieve that basic level of monetization and you know now they're feeling pretty good they're feeling pretty confident they're like oh yes I finally got monetized I'm finally there hallelujah we're in the big leagues now and immediately they start getting hit with that AdSense drama you know all this stuff where they go through all these extra steps to make AdSense work for their account and they do do it yet for whatever reason YouTube slash Google spontaneously complains some number of months after they've been running advertisements on your big view videos oh hey you know what something's wrong with your AdSense and there's nothing we can do about it that revenue you were expecting to earn for those past few months uh, we can't give that to you uh, it doesn't exist because there was a problem with AdSense and actually it's your fault But you, you can't find any reasoning for it to be your fault, but for sure it's your fault YouTube's never wrong Google's never wrong. They never do anything corrupt So some of your income gets sloshed from that and you're like, okay I can take it as long as I can get some of these things through so you you bend over to YouTube You do everything and more of what they ask you to make this this AdSense relationship work and you sort of get it back up and running and you make a few more videos, you make a few more videos and then all of a sudden, whoa, demonetize. Yeah, suddenly like 10 to 15 of your videos become demonetized and you're like, what's up? And it's like, hey, yo, new policy. No swear words in a certain time length, no swear words after a certain time length, no violent depictions, none of this, none of that. And uh, you're now dodging more and more landmines that weren't even in the original agreement. So YouTube just gives you the giant middle finger and asks you to suffer a bit more. They keep reminding you, you know, dangling that stupid carrot on the stick like you're the friggin' horse that's gonna just keep chasing after it no matter how much they take advantage of you. Oh, remember uh, Penguin Zero? Remember all these YouTubers? PewDiePie? Ah, big money, big money. Go, 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 horse, go. Get the carrot, get the carrot. So you chase after it some 
some more you know you keep going after it and you know people are falsely reporting your videos some are spontaneously demonetized and maybe like one out of 35 million manages to succeed on YouTube anyways by kind of some very shady strategy of you know like self-written bots bumping up their stuff and like uh, you know alternating content strategically so when YouTube goes too kids friendly they start producing Peppa Pig type stuff and when YouTube wants violence they just start producing violence stuff and uh, always uh, matching the flow to make money out of it and so they go through all this self-compromising and degrading action and they're that one out of 35 million that finally made it to the end of the obstacle course and you're celebrating you're dancing and you walk up there to YouTube to collect your uh, check that you rightfully earned and deserve you realize that you made this big mistake you see the the game was never meant to be winnable uh, this is what you call the unwinnable game you only lose when you play the game even if you win that is the problem with the game so even if you manage to find some way to successfully hop through all those hurdles and waste all your time on it Expect nothing more than another betrayal and another defunding as your reward for it Because that's the reality of the kind of people you are dealing with people with an entitlement attitude Your hard work and your efforts mean nothing to them because they are entitled to receive Your best and your everything while giving you back nothing for it at all You will own nothing and you will be happy